Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the real values of x for which logarithm of logarithm of x plus logarithm of logarithm of x squared minus 1 equals 0. And take note that logarithm of x is in base 10. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 15 seconds and timer starts now. Three, two, one, times up. Now, let's answer this question together. So, our question is solve for the real values of x for which logarithm of logarithm of x plus logarithm of logarithm of x squared minus 1 must be equal to 0. Now, first thing to do is to simplify first logarithm of x squared. Now, if we have logarithm of a raised to n, it is equal to n times logarithm of a. Therefore, logarithm of x squared can be written as 2 times logarithm of x. Now, at this point, to make it simple, let p be equal to logarithm of x. Therefore, all logarithm of x becomes p. So, we have now logarithm of p plus logarithm of 2p minus 1 equals 0. Now, let's use some properties of logarithm. If we have logarithm of a plus logarithm of b, it is equal to logarithm of a times b. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation becomes logarithm of p multiplied by 2p minus 1 equals 0. Next, at this point, let's convert this logarithm into an exponential. If we have logarithm of a to the base of b, equals n, it can be written in the form of a equals b raised to n. Therefore, our equation can be written as p times 2p minus 1 equals 10 raised to 0 because we're given that logarithm of x is in base 10. So we have 10 raised to 0. And 10 raised to 0, we know that it is equal to 1. So we have an equation p times 2p minus 1 equals 1. Now distribute p on the left-hand side and we get 2p squared minus p equals 1. Subtract 1 on both sides. We have 2p squared minus p minus 1 equals 0. Now notice that we have a quadratic equation. And since we have a quadratic equation, we need to factor this equation to solve for the value of p. Now take note of this negative p. Negative p can be written as negative 2p plus p. Now, on the first two terms of this equation, factor out 2p. If we do that, we get 2p multiplied by p minus 1 plus p minus 1. Now, this p minus 1 can be written as 1 multiplied by p minus 1. Why we do that? Because we know already that we have a common factor of p minus 1. Therefore, we can factor out p minus 1, so we have p minus 1 multiplied by 2p plus 1, and it is equal to 0. And since it is equal to 0, therefore, at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that p minus 1 equals 0, or 2p plus 1 equals 0. Now let's focus on the first equation. Let's add 1 on both sides. Therefore, we have p equals 1. On the second equation, subtract 1 on both sides, and then divide 2 on both sides. So we get p equals negative 1 half. And take note that p is equal to logarithm of x. So we can substitute back the logarithm of x. Now, let's focus on the first result. So logarithm of x equals 1. To solve for x, we need to convert this into an exponential form. So we have x equals 10 raised to 1. And 10 raised to 1 will give us 10. Therefore, we have now one real solution to this equation. 
Now, how about on the second result? We have logarithm of x equals negative 1 half. Now, before we answer this question, let's focus first on the given equation. Now, let's see. What is the possible values of logarithm of x? We know this part cannot be a negative number because the domain of a logarithm function is from 0, not counted, up to positive infinity. It follows that logarithm of x cannot be a negative number. Therefore, if we have logarithm of x equals negative 1 half, we don't get any real solution to this result. Therefore, this is not possible. Which means the real value of x for which logarithm of logarithm of x plus logarithm of logarithm of x squared minus 1 equals 0 is x equals 10. And as always, we're done.